for our discussions. So we are now on module two, you know? and of course, module two, it's about uh, the part one of this is something to do with the history and development of art or art history and development. And we're talking about the prehistoric art, the ancient art, you know, for this topic. So these are some you know, of the different uh, forms of art as early as the ancient time or as early as the primitive time. You know? So usually most of them are in the form of sculpture. So module two is about art history and development. And this is the part one, no? And under the part one of art history and development, we have the historic art, Egyptian art, <clears throat> the Mesopotamian art, the classicism and the Greco-Roman tradition art, and then we have the Roman, Roman, Roman art, medieval, and of course the Renaissance art. So as early as the primitive age, art is already existing. No? Kumbaga, sa simula pa lang, yung tao, siyempre may pag-iisip na siya, kakayahan, uh, meron na siyang nagagawang art uh, even in the uh, limited resources. No? Oo, di ba? Sabi nga natin, in our discussion, when we define art, Art is a human expression, or what we call it's referring to you, uh, to the experience of uh, of a person, and something to do also about the human thoughts and its emotion. No, so even in the prehistoric uh, time, no, panong panang hindi pa yung tao, ba? Kung uh, if we if tutong nagevolve tayo from what we call from the uh, what called from the uh, what the Australopithecus Africanus, so probably then the Cro-Magnon, the Homo sapiens, no? So there is already art during the prehistoric time, no? And art probably uh, originated or something, what contributed to the development of art is something to the civilization, no? So yung, yung ancient art. And this civilization, somehow it's associated from from the different river banks found in the different parts of the world, no? Or, yes, so you know, no? And during the ancient art or ancient time, arts are associated with religious functions, no? So even as early as the, uh, the time, no, even Christ is not yet exists, people in the time, they have their own belief or what we call they have their own religion. Kahit wala pa yung Hinduism uh, and other religion, no? and even yung Buddhism, Taoism, no? kahit wala pa yan. So there is already what we call religion. And religion and this practice of religion, it has something to do also with the, the beginning of the development of art. No? In 10,000 BCE, so before the Christian era and referring to the existence of Christ, no? So, ganun kalayo yung agwat, no? 10,000 BC. So, somehow, uh, human uh, discovered that the people at the time, they are nomadics, no? Uh, and they are nomads or nomadics because somehow, due to what we call geographical condition, no? For in people, they are moving from one places to another places. They, kumbaga, hindi sila nag-stay ng dito lang sila. Unlike now, like example, we are, we are in the Philippines, dito lang tayo. But the time, uh, they move from one places to another. Diba? Kung nasa Luzon ka, pumupunta sila sa different part of the zone. No? Uh, why? What's the reason why they are moving from other places to another places? Because the time, no, yung, uh, since this is ancient time, People need to survive, so they the way to survive it's to gather and to hunt, diba? Yung mamitas, o kaya ng mga bunga, o kaya mga aso, no? Kaya kung naubos na yung resources dito, yung mga food dito, they have to move from other places. Gaya nangyayari ngayon, no? In Africa, of course, uh, um, 
there are different animals where they move on different parts of Africa, on the land of Africa, because uh, once they consume the food in that place, they are moving from other places. So, parang ganun yung tao nun, no? And as I mentioned, the different banks of rivers or the banks of rivers uh, contributed on the development of art as well as the civilization of, of the different country. Like in Mesopotamia, Mesopotamia uh, became uh, civilized or had developed its own culture and art because of the river uh, civilization like the river Tigris and Euphrates and Egypt, the river of Nile. You know? And in China, the Yangtze River and in Jad, uh, Indus and, Gang and Ganges River. So this river somehow uh, help the people you no know, or those, those people who live in beside the river or at the river bank uh, to develop and to have their own civilization and that and because of this river and because of this civilization now human beings discovered you no know, the building of palaces and temples which is the beginning of what we call architecture and the development of different sculpture as well as the painting. Of course, in the ancient time, as I mentioned, like, for example, the Elmo Sapiens, no, uh, they are living in the cave, and from those cave, somehow they were able to express their thoughts and their emotions through what we call uh, through a drawing or through engraving, wherein they engrave different pictures on the wall of the cave uh, to express their thoughts and feelings, and somehow, because of their certain beliefs, as mentioned, no, yung nga, it's something to do also with their religious belief. Like the like those pic like the picture depicted here, like the fertility statue, it symbolizes what we call fertility and the belief of that uh, because of the statue, they were able to uh, survive or rather uh, for the for the preservation of their of their race, no? Okay. So to continue. Now, from the ancient time, so probably, you know, that's the Egypt. So we're moving on the ancient Egypt. Probably you are all familiar with the different pyramids, the mustaba, the different sculpture in Egypt, you know. And, and, and these different uh, edifices, you no, know, or yes, it's reflected what we call the ancient Egyptian art, no? For them, like in the Western art, art for the Egypt connotes also a religious function, no? Wherein it's originated, no? Yung arts originated from building tombs and preserving the remain of death and through the art of magnification. And very uh, popular as regard to the different structure or edifices, no, or so what we call the mastaba, aside from the pyramid. Ano bang kaiba ng mastaba sa pyramid? Yung pyramid, it's a triangle. The mastaba are a parang hindi siya natapos na pyramid. No? It can be a square or something. But both mastaba and the pyramid are uh, serve as chamber for the dead or what we call the art tomb. No, and most of their art, particularly sculpture, are reflected to their religious belief or function, wherein their art reflected their different beliefs about their gods. Of course, among their gods, or some, no, they have they have what we call Horus. No, so Horus is the oldest and most significant date in the ancient Egyptian religion, wherein is the son of. Of Isis, no. And then, of course, they do believe with Ra, the god of energy or the god of sun, and the, and of course, they do believe also Kay Osiris, the god of the underworld of the afterlife, no. So as you can see, pa, pang sinabi natin religion no parang may pagkakapareho, no. There's the god where is it, where who dwells in heaven, and then there's god also who dwells in the underworld, no. So an example is yes, Horus, and then of course the other god, goddess and gods, no? And if you watch the god of Egypt, so na, pinakita doon yung the different god, no? <clears throat> okay? So to continue, now from Egypt, 
uh, were in their civilization and their art are somehow associated with their religious passion or religious belief, we're now moving to what we call the Mesopotamia. You know? So like Egypt, you know, the civilization of Mesopotamia, now it's Iraq, you know, also uh, developed or originated from the river bank, you know, yung, uh, yung uh, Tigris and Euphrates River. You know? And of course, wala in din ang existing yung Mesopotamia because now it is known as Iraq, no? So, example of its art, yung nga, no? Very similar to the fertility struck, uh, sculpture, yung uh, what we call the female figurine, no? Wherein it exists 6,000 to 5,100 BCE before the Christian era. And this structure now, or what we call this female figurine now, it's found in the very museum, no? And another art, you no, know, that can, uh, or another fragment which also an evidence, you no, know, about the early civilization or early uh, sculpture of the Mesopotamia. It's the fragment of the steel of the vulture. So this is found in the uh, found, uh, or it is dated from 2600 to 235 BCE, you not know, before the Christian era. Now. The ancient art of Mesopotamia, it has something to do with the different period or dynasty in Mesopotamia, no? So first, the founding of the Sumerian cities and the invention of writing about 310 BCE marked the early civilization of Mesopotamia, no? So if there's civilization, so probably there is art also, no? Kasi uh, yung pag improve ng buhay nila, o yung pagiging advanced, no, or pagiging maayos. So, it also likewise the uh, creation of the different arts, no. Kasi any human made, no, or any made by man, we can consider that as art. And in our definition of art, we refer arts from the hearts, no, from arts in Greek, it means skills. So, in the proliterate period, which occur in 3400 to circa 2900 BCE before the Christian era, uh, in Mesopotamia, somehow, no, architectures uh, has been developed, no, and this is reflected from the different buildings of the temple, buildings of temples, no. Uh, the Sumerian sculpture at that time served as an adornment, no, or ritual equipment for temples, no, wherein different stone plates or different uh, sculptures, no, wherein they were curved in relief, no. So, kagaya nung nakita natin yung fragment of steel of vulture, hindi sa three-dimensional sculpture. Uh, pag sinabi natin so relief or relief curving, kumbaga, uh, yung sculpture, yung inukit, no, naka-attach pa rin siya sa kanyang parang, of course, sa painting, we are called, called that canvas, no nakatouch pa rin siya and hindi sa three dimensional no now um in Mesopotamia no we when we talk about its art that's something to also their belief about the different mythology and religion no yung nga no the Sumerian mythology and religious are among the prominent subjects so usually ganun yung ginagawa ng mga sinaunang tao no yung sculpture nila it has something to do with their belief about their gods, you no? Know? And of course, in Akkadian period, you no? Know, so after the Sumerian and uh, proliterate period, we have the Akkadian period in, so which occurs around 2,334 uh, to 2,279 BCE, you no? Know? This is the reign of Akkad, uh, which marked the unification, you no, know, of the Sumerian city-state and the creation of the first Mesopotamian Empire. So, kaya nagkaroon ng Mesopotamia, no? Kasi dati, they are only places na walang pangalan, ba? Sumerian, Sumeria, ganyan, no? And then, when they, they united, so that is the time na na-develop yung term na Mesopotamia, no? So, these are some of the sculptures. This one, so somehow, no, the statue of Gudea, they're consisting of 27 statues. Ganun sila karami, no? 27 curved mainly from diorite, it's a kind of stone, 
and other are made of alabaster, these are stone, no? Steel site and the limestone, no? So here, as you can see, in the, in the soft, on, soft in relief or relief, it's a three-dimensional sculpture. But this one, it's still in a soft, uh, soft in relief or relief sculpt, curving or sculpture, yung <clears throat> uh, Nimrub ivories, no? During the Neo-Assyrian period, no? From the Akkadian period, no, uh, now we are now in the old Babylonian period, and that's around or 2000 to 1600 BCC. And this one marked the building of the statuaries, wherein three standing statuaries and three dimensional huge figures are made. No? Yung nga yung example dito, as there are the statue of Gudea, no. And then after the old Babylonian period, we have the Assyrian period, and this is uh, uh, in 1356 <clears throat> to 609 BCE, no? wherein it depicts the logical development of the old Babylonian architecture, and the sculpture was primarily in the relief of curving. No? And then the new Babylonian or Neo-Babylonian period, this is around 612 BCE. So as you can see, lumini it yung uh, digit ng number, no? Kasi yung reference nila, it's during the time of Christ or the Christian era. Kaya yung pagitan, lumini it siya. Halimbawa, yung Neo-Babylonian, yung pagitan niya is 612 BC, no? So the so Neo-Babylonian period, it's known as the fall of Nineveh, no? If you are familiar with Nineveh, no? It's a place also, no? Na, of course, in the Bible, it has been mentioned. And this is the reign of Nabucodonosor and the uh, reign of Nebuchadnezzar, no? This period, this period marked the many gradual architectural achievements reflected, no, in the inner city gates, no, or what we call the inner gate, okay? Now, to continue, From the Mesopotamian period, we have the ancient art of China. Now, when we refer to ancient arts of the China, so probably uh, prominent here are the terracotta armies, no? So these are the collection of terracotta sculptures depict the armies of King Xing Wang Di, no, the first emperor of China. So this is a, uh, probably in two, uh, 221 BCE or before the Christ, uh, before the Christian era. <clears throat> These terracotta armies, they were discovered only in March 1974, no, by the group of peasant or, or farmer who dug well in the drought pots of Shangzi province in the northwest China. So, kung walang naguhay, baka hindi man nakita to, no? And if you watch the different movies of uh, Jackie Chan, no? Uh, pinapakita yung mga yan, no? Uh, these terracotta armies and horses are more than 2,000 years old, no? At present, ganun na yung edad nila, no? So, yan, yung mga yan, no? This is the terracotta. Kung <clears throat> ano bang movie ni Jackie Chan, yung pinakita mga yan, no? Of course, yan. Okay? So that is the ancient art of China, no? Of course, these are just some, no, of the ancient art of China because there are other arts we're in, but popular in China are the terracotta. Now, from China, we're now moving to the ancient art of India. So this is found in Bimketsa, no? Yung what we call the uh, Bimbet Karak, no? <clears throat> in Bimbet Karak shelter, uh, there are some, no, may mga nakita silang mga parang uh, cave painting, which are similar in the Western art, no. Uh, the Bimbit Rock Shelter are found in the foothills of the Vija Mountains on the south edge of the Eternal Ancient Tattoo, no. And this Bimbetka is closely associated with the hunting and gathering economy, as demonstrated in the rock art and in the relics of this tradition in the local Avidazi villages of, on the periphery of the site. 
Kumbaga, bakit sila nag-drawing or nag-paint? Or rather, hindi pala paint, no? Kasi wala pang pintura. Or nag ukit sa wall ng, ng, ano, ng cave. Of course, one reason, uh, uh, because they want to capture this animal. Another reason, the other side, no? Uh, the, other, uh, the other reason, it, it's the possibility, it's they were captured this animal, no? Parang parang memory nila no parang yung sa cartoon yung kuj ba uh, parang binakita doon they do serving in the cave no now uh bimbetka rock shelter are now considered or it is now considered as a world heritage niche no nasa niche ng world heritage From the Bimbetka, of course, we have the Taj Mahal, no, where it, uh, it has been uh, created from uh, around 1631 to 1648. No? The Taj Mahal uh, literally means, or some of the, the, uh, they give a meaning, it means teardrop on the cheek of eternity. No? Uh, this Taj Mahal is an immense a uh, mausoleum of white marble built in Agra by the order of the Mug Mughal emperor na si Shah Jahan. Si Shah Jahan, siya yung wife ni Mustaz Mahal or Arjumad Banum Begum, no? Na pinatayo yung Taj Mahal to commemorate, uh, to remember her or maybe a symbol of love, no? Yun ang sinasabi, no? Kaya pinatayo ni, ano yan, ni Arjumad Banum Begum, no? Mustaz Mahal, no? Probably Taj Mahal is considered no, uh, to be the greatest architectural achievement in the whole range of Indo-Islamic ar architecture, no? or yung architectonic. It was designed by Ustad Ahmad Lahori, no? ayan yung Taj Mahal, okay? So this is the ancient art of India, no? of course hanggang yun nag exist pa rin yan, yung Taj Mahal. No? Okay, any question, concern before I continue my discussion? May tanong ba? Questions? Wala po. Okay. Wala po. So let me, ano, again, yung slides. So probably walang tanong. So let me continue. Now, from India, of course, these are some, no, of the ancient art of India. So as you can see, most of the art uh, sculptures made during the ancient time or yes or during the early primitive age are something to do with their religious belief like in india no uh, something to do with their gods and goddesses and in Buddhism, no among the religion no uh deity sila no or yes they do believe in many gods no of course, they have they have three major gods. You no, know, in when we talk about religion, they have we have Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva, the creator, the creator, and then the destroyer. But uh, aside from these three major gods, they have you no, know, uh, they have also other goddesses and gods. You no, know, meron of god of monkey, god of elephant, god of mga different god. You no, know, meron sila. Okay, and dami. Of course, uh, in the uh, very rich siya, no? uh, with different religion, no? may Catholic, may Muslim, may Buddhism, siguro alas lahat ng religion sa India nandun, no? Unlike in our country, uh, hindi masyadong, wala tayo masyadong, walang masyadong Hindu dito, no? pero may Indian people. Pero walang church for Hinduism, so the dominant uh, religion we have is Catholic, Muslim, no? Christian Bale, no? and masking lang, no? But the other are not, uh, somehow hindi sila ganun ka ano, okay? Now, from the ancient art of India, we're now moving to the prehistoric art, or the primitive arts or of the Western art, no? <clears throat> So, somehow, uh, culture also, no? Yung culture. Culture also, it's associated to what we call to art, you know, yung way of life, you know, or yung belief. In the Western art, you know, yung culture, 
uh, it's part of what we call the it's part of the development of what we call their art no o yung kanilang expression of art no the early primitive people paints animal on the wall of cave to have successful hunting no so that is one of the reasons as i mentioned a while ago para kaya nila in ukit no actually not painting no kasi wala pa naman that time wala pa naman paint no kaya maybe we can say that is engraving or etching no so they do that to have a successful hunting and somehow their sculpture is associated with their magical belief no so you must superstitions no and, and most of the sculpture made that time are small animal statue are the first subject of their sculpture no so mahilig silang gumawa ng mga ganon yun nga dahil naniniwala sila kapag ginawa nila ito mahuhuli nila ito no kasi uh, they survive through hunting and gathering di ba and one of the sculpture that discovered at time yun nga yung fertility sculpture no so this fertility sculpture in the western art of the primitive age no are made because of the belief that this uh, uh, statue or sculpture will bring many offspring for the survival of human species paliwanagin nila kapag ginawa nila yan magkakaanak sila magkaka mapepreserve yung kanilang ano yung kanilang uh, tribe or what you call yung kanilang lahi parang ganun no <clears throat> now in the western art the beginning of architecture or the origin no or pan nagsimula yung architecture so somehow they learned architecture when they learned or discovered to bury their dead no yun ang parang unang unang pinagmulan ng architecture kasi yung tao in the primitive age they only dwell or live in the different caves diba kasi sa mga puno and of course the considered first architectural design in the western primitive arts no or primitive caves are what we call the grade stones no sila yung unang una <coughs> excuse me so these are the example of grade stone no Here, no. These are example of gravestone. First, we have the men hears, no. Men hears are derived from men here or a long stone. Ibig sabihin long stone, no. Mahabang uh, bato, no. Uh, and they are found uh, the coastline of Europe and Africa, where in these men hears serve as shelter for the spirit of those who lost at the sea or yung mga manawala, no. They are monuments, no? <clears throat> they are monuments consisting of a single large piece of megaliths or megalite, no? Yung bato, no? Malalaking bato. So, yung nakikita nyo to, so probably in the Western primitive art architecture, yan daw yung pinagmulan, no? And of course, we have the dolmens, no? <clears throat> okay, you see. Now, the dolmens are originated from the expression of taoming, which means stone table. Yeah, yung mga yon, no. <clears throat> so parang ganyan lang, no. So these are architectural design, but uh, these are tomb, no. Libingan ng mga yan, no. So that means, uh, ano ba itong batong ito, no? So live, uh, may pag may nakita kang ganyan in that place, so ibig sabihin sa ilalim yan, merong nakalibing or nakabaon na bangkay no? or pat namatay. They are made off of a number of vertical megaliths with horizontal slab. Yan, no? <clears throat> so these are what we call the dolmens. So pagkakaiba niyo sa men here, yung men here, isang malaking bato lang na nakatayo, yung dolmens, uh, sorry, in dolmens may slab siya no or stone table ba ang ganun no now of course 
yung uh, probably in the movie nakikita niya yun, yung stone hedge no so this one is an example of chrome left naman of course may small version yan no basta uh, <clears throat> so probably yung chrome leg it's made up of a number of megaliths in a concentric circle extending a wide area yung pabilog no <clears throat> so pag may nakita kang nakapabilog na bato so probably we call that one as chrome leg no and these are tomb now probably if you are asking if this stone ledge it's a tomb so uh probably if we talk about the belief no so so probably it's it's a tomb no isang bibigat okay to continue o pwede ring sabihin natin nag nagsimula yung chrome black no this is just my theory no na uh, sa megalith no or what i mean uh, nagsimula siya as a as a man here no Kumbawa, may nagdibing dito isang bato no yan malaking bato and then may nag ano nga hanggang naging nagform siya no so that is just my theory, no? Of course, I don't have any basis for that. Now, from the uh, Western primitive arts, we're now moving to the ancient Greek arts. So probably parang pag sinabi natin art, nagsimula siya sa Greek, no? Pero of course, hindi naman. Pero mas kilala, no? The ancient Greek arts, <clears throat> no, it uh it's divided into three period no we have the archaic period the classical period and then the hellenistic period so these are some of the arts that are found during the archaic period no so arts were influenced by the earliest or early civilization of the Mesopotamian and Egypt. And that is something to do with the geometric art, particularly the uh, make uh, the pottery making, no, yung paggawa ng mga paso. Archive period somehow focus on the nude sculpture, gayon mga to, no? And we call that as what we call the chorus. No, where in this chorus are nude male figure of an athlete, and then from the chorus we have the kore, no, where in this are referring to the fully clad female figure. So ganun ka expressive yung mga archaic, no, or during the archaic period yung mga Greek. Now, from the archaic period, of course, we have the classical period, and classical period it's uh, probably it's considered as the remarkable civilization of the ancient greek no and it is known as the golden age of athens because uh, this is the time where in socrates plato aristotle and the other philosopher uh, no um, like miletus and other philosophers uh, <clears throat> uh, were in the exist no and as regard to their cultural no it considered also the classical period as the outstanding period of cultural achievement no this classical period also marked the aesthetic ideals you know of ancient greek no wherein they emphasized form they implied a rigorous artistic discipline in conforming to a schema or to a certain artistic convention no and of course a uh, classical period is characterized it's uh, also characterized by an intellectual orders or philosophical no where in art the time no during the classical period it already followed no the principle of design like harmony proportion and balance no and among the sculpture no during the classical period are the following no yan mga parang it's similar to the what we call the archaic period, no, wherein the sculpture evolved from the frontal and rigid ayuma chorus or turanya korui or what we call chorus, no, <clears throat> wherein the sculpture gave way the creation of transitional movement. Na kung baga kung dati parang walang uh, yung sculpture directly lang steady lang siya, ngayon there is movement, particularly the work of uh, Phidias, Polyclitus, Myron, and Praxiteles, no. So, hindi lang siya nakatayo lang or nakaganyan lang, meron ng movement, no? 
And these are some of the work of Phidias. No? Sino ba si Phidias? He's a Greek sculptor and also a painter and an architect who lived in the 5th uh, century BC. No? And it's commonly regarded as one of the greatest of all sculptors of the classical Greece. At some of its work, no, yan, yung Athena of uh, Parthenon, Statue of Zeus, and then yung Athena, and more, most of its work are something to do with Athena, no, and they are sculpture. Now, from Vidyas, we have Polycletus, no. Sino ba si Polycletus? A Greek sculptor in bronze of the, uh, uh, as early as 5th and early 4th century BC, you know, wherein most of its work considered as one of the most important sculptor of the classical antiquity, you know. I'm sorry. So these are some of his work, you know. So, na preserve, no, buti na lang, no. We have yung Doriforus. So, Doriforus yung nagtutro ng ano, parang rad, you know? And then si Hermes. And then si Diodemenus. And of course, yung Discoporus. This thrower, you no, know? Discoporus. So most of them are something to do with uh, what we call yung mga athletes sila, no? Di ba yung Olympians, no? From the word Olympia, no? Nanggal yung Olympics, no? Sila yon, no? Kanina nang, sa kanina nang galing or nagsimula. Now, from Polycletus, we have Myron, no? Si Myron is also an Athenian sculptor from the mid-5th century BC, no? Is a work almost exclusively in bronze. So, dito may bronze sculpture niya, no? And one of its work na bronze uh, sculpture, yung Discobolus, no? Or uh, Distrower, no? And then, he contributed also in the building of uh, Unitary, and one of the sculpture also yung Minotaur, no? He made some statues of gods and heroes, no? And somehow, he's... Uh, fame rested principally upon his presentation of the different athletes and one yung discobolus, no? Parang pare pare yung work nila. But what is distinct with Myron, gumagamit siya ng bronze rather than stone, no? Can you imagine, no, paano niya inuhit yung bronze during that time na wala pang electricity? Ngayon kasi madali na mag-cut, di ba, through the use of machine. Pero during their time, it's walang machine, pinupupok lang, and ano, so ganun katsyaga, no? And, and siguro, alimbawa, yung bronze sculpture ni Myron, no? Itong Discobolus, maybe he, he took a month, no? Or more than a month before he finished doing this. Kasi napakatigas ng ano, bronze, no? Now, from Myron, Polycletus, Phidias, we have Praxiteles, no? So, Praxiteles is also an Athenian sculpture from the mid-5th century BC. No, most renowned of its, uh, uh, most renowned siya for Attic sculptors of the 4th century BC. And probably among the sculptor during that time, no, na contemporary niya, siya, siya lang yung merong nude female sculpture, no? He's the first one to do or sculpt the nude female form in a life-size statue, no? Yan, example of its work, yung kay si Venus Bracci, no? And then yung si Aphrodite of Sinodus. Of course, he has also male sculpture, no? Yan, like the si Apodo, and of course si Hermes, no? Hermes, very infant Dionysius, no? Okay? So, yun nga, no, as you can see, there is already a movement, no, as regard to their sculpture uh, in the, ano siya, no, in the, what do you, what do you call this one, no, in the, siya. but, of course, if you are asking, bakit naked sila, or nakobad, because they do believe in the beauty of the human body, no, yun, yun daw, um, kaya totally naked yung pinapakita nila, because that is beauty for them, no. Now, from the sculptor, we moving to the we're now moving to the different architecture during architects during that time, and one of them is Ictinus, no, an architect active in the mid 15th century BC. Uh, of course, so the Asian sources they identify no Ictinus 
and Calicrates as co-architect of Parthenon. No? Na yung Parthenon, uh, during the ancient time, no, uh, the Greek uh, in Greece, they do believe that it's the house of the god, no? or yes, house of the gods and goddess. No? And found in Mount Olympus. No? Pero of course, ayan na lang, rim, ano na lang, ayan na lang natira, no? Uh, of course, uh, Ictinus is considered as architect of the temple of um, creator of the uh, temple of Apollo, and also the architect of the Telesturion uh, at Eleusis. No. Now, from Ictinus, we have Calicrates. No, parang partner sila. No, ancient Greek architect active in the mid uh, of the fifth century BC. Uh, one of its work is the Temple of Athena of Nike, no? And then E and Ictinus were archi the architect of what we call Parthenon, no? So the architectural design of the Greek uh, architecture uh, somehow can be described through the use of pillars, no? May na-invent siya ng iba't ibang orders of pillars, no? <clears throat> one yung tinatawag ng Doric. So this one, no? So plain, and then uh, yung nga, Doric is described as being plain abacus capital, short and massive, ayan siya, no? And then from Doric, yung Ionic naman, is taller and slender, ayan, no? Yung Ionic may parang naka, ano dito, yung naka-curl, no? And then from Ionic, we have the Corinthians, no? Or the Corinthian, the tallest and most slender. Meron siyang uh, acanthus leaves, Kung titignan mo yung ano. So, so pag nakita mo yan, ah, this one is Doric, ah, this one is Ionic, and this one is Corinthian. Of course, in in our time, no, presently, they are still existing, no? Kung pupunta ka ng Holy Angel, makikita mo yung sa first building nila, of course, they have this kind of what we call pillars, no? May mga pillars, may makikita ka doon, no? And you will try to observe them kung anong class sila, are they Doric, Ionic, or Corinthian? Now, um, as mentioned, diba? as mentioned, uh, the classical period is the golden age of Athens. Why? Because of Socrates, Aristotle, and of course Plato. So aside from, uh, from those uh, philosophers and writers, this is also the time of the different uh, writers like, like what we call uh, <clears throat> Iskodus, no? So we're in, during that time, they also discovered the open-air chatter, no? So yung mga Greek, parang sila yung nagsimula ng mga, mga drama, opera, no? And then it has been done in the Oval, or what we call in the, uh, yun ang opera nila, no? And imagine, during that time, wala pang microphone, pero they were able to present, no? Paano nila nagagawa yun, no? We're in... Ngayon, kailangan may mic, no? Para marinig mo yung nandun. Pero, pero during their time, wala man, no? So, sino ba si Aeschylus? is the first of the three ancient Greek tragedians, no? Considered as the father of tragedy. Bakit sa tinawag na father of tragedy? Kasi yung mga work niya, nag end sila ng namatay yung hero o namatay yung what we call prota uh, protagonist or the character, or yes, the protagonist of the story or of the essay, no? Kaya tinawag na uh, father of tragedy kasi yung mga work niya laging ganun, nag-end ng death, no? So among of, uh, among of its work, ito yan, the Persians, Seven Against the Thieves, the Suppliant, the trilogy known as the Orestian. So we're in consistent of three tragedies, yung kay Agamemnon, the Libation, Bearers, the Eumenides, and then yung kay Prometheus bound, namatay lahat sila, no? Though si Prometheus, it was in Venice, and then later, si mo namatay din siya, no? And, yun nga, no? Uh, one of the phrase na nabasa ko about Aeschylus, sabi niya, that it's pleasurable, sabi niya, because the only way to escape from the evilness of life. So, yun ang attitude niya, no? About that, and for him, that it's beautiful, that it's something a freedom, kasi sabi nga yan, that's pleasurable because the only way to escape from the evilness of life, no? Or the end of evilness is death. And then from 
from Aeschylus, we have Sophocles, no? Uh, so born in Sophilus, no? Most famous tragedies were, of course, yung kanyang work, yung kay Oedipus and Antigone, no? At the event least, no? And wherein he was able to wrote 122, 123 plays during the course of its life. But only seven have survived in the complete form, like the word about Ajax, Antigone, or Antigone, the women of Trachis, Oedipus the king, Electra, Pilotites, and Oedipus at Colonus. You know? Now, from Sophocles, we have Euripides. You know? <clears throat> he was born in Salamis Island. No? He's the son of uh, Nesarchus. Of course, one of the three great tragedians of classical Athens. No? Uh, somehow, of course, their work in the Nama yung kay uh, if you talk about Sophocles and Euripides, yung work nila hindi naman puro tragedy lahat, no? Where they didn't, they didn't end in, or in the hero died, or somehow in a tragic form, no? Kung di man namatay, uh, nag end siya into a certain tragedy na para misfortune, no? Of course, Euripides is considered as the most tragic of poets in terms of poetry, no? Okay? Now, from the classical period of the ancient Greek art, we are now moving to Hellenistic period. So, tinawag siyang Hellenistic period, it's because of the Hellen of Troy, no? This is the end of the Golden Age of Athens. And this is uh, something to do with the Polyphenician War, the war between the Spartans and the Athenians, no? So, kung napanood yung Trojan War, no? Parang yun, the, the labanan ng mga taga Troy, at ng mga Spartans or mga Athenians, Athenian, no? <clears throat> and somehow, in 338 BC, no? Kaya nga, uh, end of the Golden Age of Athens, Alexander the Great conquered the different Greek cities, no? So, kumbaga, from Rome na si Alexander the Great, <clears throat> uh, nakarating siya ng uh, Greece, So Greek sculpture was influenced by the Oriental and the political instability. You know, at that time, no, may kaugnayan yung mga sculpture nila. And these are reflected from their uh, monetary, no, yung mga pera nila. No? Parang kung pinanood mo yung 300, no? so mag magkikita mo doon, no? paano dinipend ng Sparta, yung kaninang, uh, kay, kay, yung kaninang uh, land no? against their enemies. This Hellenistic period also gave way to the rise of the new set of aesthetic ideals. You know? And among the popular, um, well-known, sorry, among the well-known artists during that time, we are uh, during the Hellenistic arts, we have Seuxis, Horatius, and Apollodorus. And of course, these Hellenistic artists you know, or visual artists they are known as what we call the renowned naturalistic painter. Bakit naturalistic? Kasi during that time, hindi pa naman na-invent yung pintura. Uh, so, ano yung ginagamit na ng pigments or pangkulay? Uh, it can be uh, what we call uh, they get from the leaves, from the soil, or for something. No? Kaya nga yung, even in the time of ano, uh, Michelangelo, wala pa rin paint, kaya al fresco yung tawag sa painting niya. No? So, Zioxis is known painter who flourished you know, during the 5th century BC, and most of its work were taken to the Rome, you know, Dinal Sarum, to Byzantium, but later on disappeared during the time of the Pausanias. You know? And Zioxis' most notable work include the Kehelen, the Zeus, and the infant Hercules struggling the serpent. So, um, so more of what we call pag sinabi natin subject nila they are more of greek mythology you no know? if you are familiar with greek mythology yon like si helen no si helen if you are familiar with helen helen of troy you no know? so probably yung kanyang kwento uh, ni helen she's the most beautiful no si pinakamagandang babae no in the uh, in greece and if we will refer to the Greek mythology, probably Ellen uh, 
uh, will serve as a gift to Paris. No? Parang rewards siya ni Paris kay what we call kay Aphrodite, no? And then, this is naman, of course, same nung uh, kilala naman Jesus, no? And as one of the gods uh, in Greek mythology who fought against, against Cronus, no? And through Zeus, nagkaroon ng mga demigod, different gods, no? One of them is Hercules, the demigod, no? Okay? And then from from uh, Sirius, uh, yes, we have Parisius, no? Again, he's one of the greatest painter of the ancient Greece, known upon it of Sirius, you know? And from Parisius, we have Apollodorus, no? So it's known as an influential ancient Greek, you no? Know? Painter in the fifth century BC, whose work has uh, uh, been entirely lost, no? Pero kilala si Apollodorus, wherein it's tech, yung kanyang technique, yung iskagrafiya, no? Ito yung sample. Pero hindi yung work ni Apollodorus. Pinapakit ko lang. Yung parang uh, sepia, yung dating ng iskagrafiya, no? Wherein it produced shadow that affect the works, not only of its contemporaries, but also the latter generation. And some of the uh, <clears throat> visual artists during the time, we have Lysippus, no? Known sculptor during the 4th century BC, wherein his successor in contemporary view to the famous sculptor Polycletus, no? Si Lysippus. <clears throat> and among the works attributed to him are the so-called the Orses of St. Mark. So si Lysippus may pagkaano na, no? Hindi na Greek mythology, wherein he also, uh, meron, na siyang, meron na rin siyang ano sa what we call sa Christianity. And then yung kay Eros and so on, no? And popular yung kanyang oil for rare, no? So these are some of the words of Lysippus, no? Yung oil for rare. And then si Farnes Hercules. And of course yung si Apolix, uh, Apoxiomenos. So somehow na damage na rin, no? Kaya wala namang kamay yung iba yung kabay, no? So because of uh, through age, uh, through age siguro or yung dahil matanda na or matagal na, no? And then we have Alexandrus of Antioch, no? So a known artist of the Hellenistic age who is best known today for Venus of the Milo, no? Or the Aphrodite of the Milo. Kasi yung Venus is the Roman name for Aphrodite, no? Uh, kasi yung mga Romans, yung nga, during the time of Alexander the Great, na nakangrating ng Greek, they imitated, no, the, what we call the culture of the Greek, no, and even their literature, no. Yeah, no, example, yeah, uh, sorry. Okay, so this is the Aphrodite of Milo, so Venus de Milo, one work of Alexander Sofantio. Now, another work during the time, yung kay Alexander of Rhodes, no, si Laikun, no, Sculptor from the island of Rhodes, contemporary of Lysippus in the 4th century BC, and one of the three sculptors from the island of Rhodes. So, kasama niya si Alexander, Atinodorus, and Polydorus, no? And, you know, this sculpture somehow inspired, inspired siya, inspired niya si, uh, what we call, uh, Michelangelo, no? Yung kay Laikun, uh, Laukun, sorry, Laukun. And sino ba si Laukun? Si Laukun is some priest during the Trojan War, na, of course, na taga Troy siya, he discovered the plot, no, of the Trojan horse. And then, since, uh, <clears throat> since yung mga Sparta, uh, before they enter the war or go to the war, uh, nag-pray muna sila kay, ano, no, kay the God of the Sea, no? So, tinudungan sila, no? Pa and then, yung si Lycon, uh, it was you know, uh, killed by the serpent or the snake together with its uh, son. Okay, so these are our references. So probably uh, we are not yet able to tackle the medieval period, no? So we will do that in the succeeding no, or in our next you know, discussion. Okay, any concern or questions? May question ba? Okay. 
and concern questions wala po sir okay so i will stop the recording no